So put down your phones and put down your guns, all right? Put down your phones. <laughs> listen to the music. Listen, listen to, to how much they want you. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm saying? When you're down and troubled and you need some love and care, close your eyes and think of me. Thank you for joining us on my catalog. Today is a special day because today we got SB19 in the building. And today they're going to be doing the song I Want You. Now, the last couple of songs, the first one was half English, half Tagalog. The other two were all Tagalog. We love those two. The Mapa and also Liham. Liham and Mapa, fire. Absolutely. Freedom was nice as well. But this one is all English, it seems like. It's called I Want You. Been uh, suggested many times. So here we go. Let's get into it. Oh, that boys to men, the jagged edge, all of that, <laughs> y'all, all in one. They killing it, y'all. The vocals are tremendous. It's kind of like, kind of like different. I don't, I don't want to say weird, but it's kind of like different to hear them in English. They sound yeah, just as good, sure. y'all. Like, you know what I mean? The dude with the long hair killed it. To, for killed me. it, y'all. Y'all, yeah, it was crazy. I like the. This is my favorite one out of all them because even the last one, I know the red hair dude was like killing the vocals, but he did yeah. a little thing that I really like. I like this guy the best. This yeah. dude is my his, favorite. His one. melody went oh, like you, you almost started trying to like rap. What you want, baby? Y'all did a hair. Said if it's for you, all you, I had you to be. He was Bro. doing a little Drake right yeah, there yeah, for a second. Yeah. And it sounded really good. Freedom back. It yeah. sounded really good, yeah. <laughs> but in English, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was dope. It's crazy how good their English is. It's like their English is oh. way better than my English. Yeah, way better. Way better. They murdering this shit. You wouldn't even know it's their second language. You know what I mean? You wouldn't yeah. even know. What's crazy is so the guy with the long hair is the guy you guys talking about, right? Yeah, he's right here. Rap, right? Yeah. So he's the writer of all of these songs. Oh, for real? Is he? Yeah, his wow. name is Pablo. But like, I love all of these styles combined. You know what I mean? So like, I think Pablo and a couple of other ones, or maybe another one has like solo songs. Okay. Mm. I'm learning That's all fire. this from the comments. So pa like, Pablo, the he's Pablo Escobar. So he he's the Ice Cube of the group. Yeah, he's Pablo. The NWA? He's the he's the source. He's the reason. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That makes it even more fire. Yeah. See, yeah, I knew he was my favorite for a reason. Yeah. Well, no, he was like as soon as he came in, he did that that melody that he did and he started doing it fast. I was like, bro, that, that sounded dope. That he was my write, favorite part of the whole thing. He writes his own music, which is beautiful because all the songs we have listened to, it's been nothing but like love. Just be good, you know what I'm saying? And have good vibes. I, mm -hmm. I like where his mind is at in his writing, you know what I mean? But like a song like Mapa, right? It's, it stands for Ma and Pa, but also yeah. for Map as well. So them giving you direction in life, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Which is yeah, official. Yeah. This dude is a brilliant writer, bro. Like we haven't tapped into him enough yet. I mean, this is the third song. They killing it, bro. Okay. Murdering it. You know, this is yeah, my, I'm like, sure. uh, this style of music, this genre R&B, this is my first favorite genre. Of, yeah. even, like I love hip hop, but R&B, Bro, oh, yeah. this for the ladies, bro. Like you have to, and bro. that's not. And I love ladies. That's the reason why yeah. I love R&B so much. Exactly. Growing up, yeah. I love R&B, bro. Yeah. It's like my favorite music. You couldn't, yeah. you couldn't touch it to me. That's all you wanted to do. You know what I mean? Hang with the ladies and like you know? listen yeah, to this listen in the background. Some... You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, it reminds you of like back in the day when we used to go to like skating rinks, right? You listen yep. to R&B music. That's yeah. that's why it gets you in get that your, mood. Get your skating partner ready, baby. Yeah, you got her <laughs> hand. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this your favorite song? Oh, I know this song. Know this song. <laughs> Romance 101, baby. Right? Yeah. Uh, oh, I believe his name is Stell. So it's Pablo Stell. Man, I don't know the rest of the names, but I know him by face and I know him by you voice. You know more than we do. <laughs> yeah, I know that sure. was... It's all a comment section, you know? His Shout name, you said Stell? Is this Stell or Steel? I, I believe it's S-T-E-L-L, -L, I think. Yeah. I would love to hear what, what they, these guys' uh, solo stuff sounds like. like Let's that. go back real quick, though, to this guy's part, because I want to hear that part again. Yeah, that part yeah. was fire. 
So what? All the way at the beginning? <laughs> no, no. He, he. It wasn't that long. Far back. Yeah, right? I think it's right here. Absolutely love the baby I want you part. You because they killing it, bro. Like the way they switching up from like two to three to like all five and back to like one and then the two and three harmonizes. It's just crazy, bro. Like the way they pass it around is like so amazing. They do an incredible job. Yeah, that, that song Something brings me right. uh brings me back flashback. Like, yeah, of the good good old days. Good you old know? days of music, nineties R and B, yo. Like at the beat, it reminds me of eighth grade school dances. We had to dance like this. You can hug because the teacher will separate you when you get too close. Yeah, yeah I, I like right. that song. It's good. I hey, really like that Pablo dude. That dude is that dude's oh, yeah. a star, Pablo, man. Yeah, Pablo killed it for me. That yeah, yeah. he killed it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I even like uh, what is that? Ken, the the dude, the first dude to the left. He had a couple good parts that he came in there. Yeah, really with, his, with his deep voice. Yeah, yeah. I like I, I like his I liked a lot of his parts too. All of them, I feel like killed it. I, I feel like without the harmonizing and them like helping each other, like as a collective like group, like I don't think it would have sounded as well. They did such an amazing. It sounds like a studio like song. You know what I mean? Like, like mm -hmm. with all the background noises that they help in each singer with their solos is incredible, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's such an amazing job on it, you know? The song they, wouldn't you know, be as good without them. Yeah, yeah the supporting cast is... Yeah, amazing. you need all of them. And you see the people to the left over there. Hold on, let me make the screen a little bit bigger. This is what you was talking about last time. No drink. It's like people that are... You know, at a concert, recording the phone, recording yeah, yeah. it. What's crazy is this being recorded. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, right. thanks to Wish 107.5, which I forgot to mention at first. You know what I mean? But they do an amazing job. Their audio is phenomenal. Their visuals are phenomenal. There's no reason for you to be out there with the phone. Maybe snap a picture or two. You know what I mean? But like for the most part, you don't just hold your camera. You gotta enjoy this. You know, yeah. this is live. Like, Te they right there. Technology, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to yeah. kill our society. Watch. <laughs> In due yeah, time. You, it used to be lighters and flashlights that people held up. Yeah, right? you know what I mean? At yeah. concerts, now it's everybody's holding up their phone. <laughs> exactly. But, yeah. Yo, this was great, though, man. I love this. I, I think they did an amazing job. And this right here, this is the type of songs that can get you across the world. Fans across the world, you yeah. know? Because English is, like, one of the, like, prime like languages in in the world's music you know for the most part so this right here yo this can be bumping everywhere bro europe the united states south america north america everywhere like this is a wonderful like r&b song bro like top notch yeah it's a good song like you would have told me these guys were all filipino i'd be like get the hell out of here if yeah, i could see right. none of them i would have thought it was a regular r&b group i would have never yeah. thought they were a filipino Maybe Jagged Edge or yeah, like Jagged Boys Edge, Man or something, Boys Man, you know? yeah. Joe Misty. Yeah, like it's crazy. Like going from the first song because the first song was kind of like you know the Bronx Tale. They have those singers in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. harmonize. Um, what are they called again? What are those guys called? Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, they they I'm sounded like mind. that. You know, in the Mappa, it was such a deep song and such beautiful like vocals along with a beautiful message and then you got this one which is like it's such a great r&b song bro like these mm -hmm. things are just murdering it on all levels and the performances this is like it's damn near fake bro it feels like they lip singing bro like there's, <laughs> there's no yeah. way that this audio is from a live performance bro like this is a studio quality and then that's what i'm saying the way they help each other as a collective group is amazing bro like, I don't think they need more than one take in the studio. If they can come in like this, bro, like, you don't you don't need to record ad libs or any of that. You can just give them all the mic. Let them murder. Yeah. Collectively like this. Yeah, how they feed off of each other, right? It's really good. That chemistry is really good. How they come after each other and all the stuff and how it sounds. Is, yeah, it, it's like it's a studio. It's like, it's like somebody came in and put each of their parts right after each other and were doing the ad libs, but they're doing it live. Right? Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's pretty dope. Yeah, now that fire, man. I, I like this song. This is definitely a universal, like RB song. You could definitely hear this everywhere, right? Oh, everywhere, yeah. I love yeah. this, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a message that everybody like this is like the number one message in RB music, right? I want you, right? <laughs> want, it's yeah. always the guy just like trying yeah. to chase the girl, right? 
It's either that or it's like it's a depressed R&B song where the girl just left you. Mm -hmm. right? It's either they left you and you want them back or you're chasing after them, right? You're like, I want you, right? Yeah. Pablo, I think, was the, was the star for me. Like, I think I think they all were really good, but I think Pablo, like, really, like, I really like that that part where he was like- Stands out. Flow, yeah, he was flowing right there for a second. Yeah, like, I want to hear him do a whole song like that. All right, like, yeah. That was fire. Yeah. Yeah, he's nice, yo. You can tell he's a rapper, you know, and he writes all of these songs. So, like, you can tell, like- Yeah, man. He's the ice cube of the rap. NWA right now. Yeah. 100 percent pablo is the key man he's the plug you know there's no question about it and you know uh no drink on the last video you know it's like that's my favorite guy yeah. i was like yo stell was murdering it because he was yo stell was like oh he think? was yo on that on that letter joint he was murdering that shit. he was shining but yeah now nah, these guys are great yeah really good song yeah I want you. i'm gonna join the group Yo, you know you should no drink. Should we like try to reach out? Yeah, let them know. I want to join. I want to be a member. We'll change yeah. it to SB20. Ooh, right? uh, extra style. Extra style. The no drink style. Mm -hmm. Let's the no drink the style. <laughs> SB19 extra sauce. You be the extra sauce. <laughs> saucy no drink yeah. saucy no just, drink. <laughs> he'll just come in with like the, the dopest like outfits and stuff like that he won't actually sing it's no, always like you're anticipating it. him to sing and he never just comes in no i'm just gonna do ad-libs that's it yeah. <laughs> oh no if you do ad-libs you'd be like diddy right yeah oh, you girl. i want you girl <laughs> that's it <laughs> I can snap a finger in there, here yeah. and there. In the beginning of everything. <laughs> you need me, girl. Yeah, now yeah. you got Wish 107.5 to cut you off like that. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Wish 107.5. <laughs> <laughs> this Shit guy just moment. like sang out his heart, you yeah. know what I mean? And he midway yeah. into it, he like, Wish 107.5. Gotta get like, that advertisement in. Yeah, you know, at prime times, you know. Understand. I don't know. Wish, Wish has been consistent though, man. They're killing it with these artists. Yeah, and yeah. The, the production man is really good y'all the really good some of the best i've ever heard <laughs> yeah. it really sounds like a studio quality like all of these songs that they've been singing all sound studio quality same thing with maurice said the moan same thing with everybody we've seen on wish 107 rain uh easy mill the, yeah. they all sound like the original song it's mm -hmm. crazy like it's almost like they lip singing in there but they doing it too well <laughs> you know what i mean it's like yeah. I know they singing it, but it's just, it just sounds so good. But maybe because it is a bus, it's built like a studio. You know what I mean? The windows are probably soundproof. You know what I mean? So the area is soundproof. It's gotta be bulletproof too. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like a booth. You know what I mean? I don't think so. I don't Gotta think, be. What you mean? I don't think they got gangster rappers up in here. It doesn't matter, yo. Seth's fans are crazy. It doesn't, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter about rap. Like, people are just weird. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people are shooting up people in Ariana Grande's concert. So yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. That's Ariana Grande. You never, you never, you never know when it's gonna happen, right? Mm -hmm. Assess fans are assess fans. They can go yeah. after anybody. Yeah. Well, let's hope they don't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I never even thought about that. That's fucking. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So put down your phones and put down your guns. All right. Put down your phones. <laughs> Listen to the music. Listen, Listen to, to how music. much they want you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> But uh, thank you for joining us on my catalog. We just got done being super duper impressed by SB19, a.k.a. Mahalima. They absolutely murdered this. We wasn't expecting this. I want you to be as good as it was. They super duper impressed us. They are amazing. Together, they flow incredible. They help each other out as a collective group. They're just brilliant, you know? And the performance shows, you know, like the performance sounds like a real studio song, you know, with ad libs and all. So, yeah, they're incredible. Uh, shout out to SB19. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell everybody about my catalog. Until next time. Peace. When you're down, when you're down. Actually, you know what? Yo, maybe they have their names on the bottom. You can probably look them up too and see which ones, who's who.
Yeah. Oh yeah, Stell S T E L L. So it's Pablo, Stell, Ken, Justin, and Josh. So which one is Ken? All right. So here's a photo of them. I like how so everybody's got left. full names, and then the rest is just like American. Yeah. <laughs> Ken, so yeah, Josh. <laughs> oh yeah, and this photo uh, still has black hair. It's crazy because it's hard to tell because they keep changing the colors of the hair. I know who Pablo is. We know who Pablo is. The, the... Yeah, Pablo is the one with the long hair. Steel is Estelle. I think it's Stell or Stel Steel. Yeah. It's S T E L L. Stel. So, and this guy, what's his name? The other one is Ken. Okay. Who's, who's Felipe? There's no Felipe. All right, it's, it's a lead vocalist. Stell is the choreographer. And it's Pablo, Justin, Josh. Philip, Stell, yep. Pablo, Justin, and Josh. No So Ken. Felipe must be Ken. Okay, yeah. Have Ken it, it is Ken. Yeah, Flip, Felipe is Ken. Okay, yeah. The, on here, it shows him as Ken. And that guy... All the other names are the same. And that guy's going to be this guy right here. Ken. Which with, one? Uh, all the way to the left. Top left. Uh, oh, do you okay. have a, more, a little more recent photo? Because the photo I have is from 2022. So... So, so let's go from the left. He's wearing the, the choker, that's why. That's how I'm figuring it out. Mm. What Felipe is that first guy, right? Yeah, Felipe is the first one. That's Ken. Which is Ken. All right. Yeah. The, the second guy is going to be Justin. Justin. I think the other one is Stel. Stel Pablo. And then and I think then it's Pablo, then Josh. Then Josh, yeah, yeah. That makes more right. sense. So we got Ken, Justin, Stel, Pablo, and Josh. Yeah. Yep. All right, from the left to the right. Nope. Josh. Why do they call him Felipe on this one? Yeah. That's probably his real then when you name. click on him, is no, that's his singer name, but his real name is actually Ken Susan. Oh, well, actually, no. What the heck is going on here? They got too many different names. If you hit his thing, it says Ken Susan on the trivia. <laughs> it's literally Felipe John Susan. Better known by his mm -hmm. stage name, Ken. So his stage name is Ken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's Ken, Justin, Stell, Pablo, and Josh. That's a weird stage name because I don't know where he got Ken from any of those names. I mean, like, Stell didn't change his name. Or Pablo. He wants to be like Prince. <laughs> well, uh, oh, because Stell's real name is Stelvester. Oh. It's mm. short for Stelvester. So it's Stell and then Vester, V E S uh, T E R. That's his uh, whole first Stel. name. So if anybody's going to change their name to American name, it should have been him. His real name is John. Who? Pablo's. That's oh. Pablo is his middle name. So John Pablo Bagnas Nasi. Better known by his stage name, Pablo. I like Pablo, yo. I, like I think he's just trying to be like Pablo Escobar. <laughs> yo, he is the source, bro. He got it all, yo. Yeah, without right. him, there's no plug, yo. There's no plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're not plug in without my boy, yo. Pablo is the plug, man.